everyone, Alex here. Welcome back to week 5 on my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Egyptian Hittite Peace Treaty, also known as the Treaty of Kadesh. It is one of the oldest peace treaties in recorded history, but it is not the oldest as some people like to say. We'll get more into that later. A bronze replica of the treaty sits in the UN building in New York. I have an image of it here kind of blurry and you can see how pieces of it have broken out and that is because it is thousands of years old but this is the main image so you know what it looks like. I don't have a book to cite the information this week. I got it almost all of it from this website called documentarytube.com. I will be linking it down below. Now let's get into the treaty itself. Over 3,000 years ago is when it was written up it was signed by Ramesses II of Egypt and Emperor Hattusilis III of the Hittite Empire. So they signed this treaty that ended an 80-year war between the two empires. The two empires, like I said, were Egypt, which was known at the time as Kemet, which was K-M-T in English lettering, and Keta, which is the Hittite Empire, K-H-E-T-A. The, there are older treaties that exist, as I have said, but the Treaty of Kadesh was the first to be signed by two separate, equally powerful empires and status, wealth, all that kind of stuff. So it was the first treaty that would like, treaty signed today by like America and Britain. It was basically like that. It was a really big deal. So as I said, older treaties exist. That was the first really good one. So they were fighting over what is now modern day Syria. They wanted control of the land. Egypt invaded in 1274 BC because Ramses wanted control of Kadesh, a city near the Orontes River. It was the main trading stop for part of the Silk Road on all these other trading routes at the time. So it was an important place to hold. Now the Hittites were holding it at the time and Kadesh was on the border of Egypt, so the Hittites were basically pressing in on the Egyptian border and making threats. And when you have two boiling pots, they're eventually going to boil over. Okay, so the Hittite Empire was growing. It had actually replaced the Kingdom of Babylonia before, which is not the Babylonian Empire. That actually happened later on. Kind of confusing, I know. The battle for Kadesh ended in a draw. Both sides said they had won, but it was really a draw. Now, the, because of the battle ending in a draw, they entered this 15-year-long Cold War. There was no actual fighting, but they were still at war with each other. So, here's just a fast fact for you. The Egyptian pharaohs had many throne names. Normal people today will know, like, Ramses II is the one that's assumed to be in the Bible for the Exodus and all that, so people think, oh, he's just Ramses II. Actually, this is an Egyptian trans this is a translation in English of the Egyptian document of the treaty. It starts with year 21, first month of the second season, 21st day, under the majesty of the king of Upper and Lower Egypt, Yusur Mare Setem Setep Enre, son of Ra, Ramses Meriamen, given life forever and ever, beloved of Amun Re Hakatra, Ptah, son of his wall, lord of, quote, life of the two lands, Mut, mistress of Ishru, and Khonsu Neferhotep, shining upon the Horus throne of the living, like his father, Hakate, forever and ever. You now see why people usually just call him Ramses II, because that takes a very long time to go through and it wastes a lot of paper if you're writing anything. Okay, now moving on. The treaty includes 20 key points or obligations both sides have to follow, including one point says, neither empire may ever invade or attack each other until the other has fallen or basically until the end of time. They have to just like each other from now on. Another point is that if one empire is attacked by someone else, the other empire must come in and help them, which if you know anything about World War I, you'll know why that was a bad idea. But it was one of the points. Now, exiled citizens. So if Egypt said you're no longer allowed to live here and you tried to move to the Hittite Empire, the Hittite Empire was not allowed to say, oh yeah, sure, come on in. No, 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 no. 
exiled citizens could not live in the other empire. You were, had to go somewhere else. This is called the Treaty of Kadesh, like I have said. Interesting, uh, interestingly enough, Kadesh is never included in the treaty itself. It's never even mentioned. So, that's kind of funny. The two kings, Ramesses II and Hattusidis III, never met in person. The entire treaty was written by intermediaries going back and forth. The treaty was in force for only eight years. After that, the Hittite Empire collapsed, making it null and void. And so, the treaty was officially put in force in 1258 BC. So that was about 3,000 years ago, a very long time. So now you know a little bit more about the world's first really strong peace treaty. So, I hope you learned a lot. Remember to contact me, I'm at Nick Squire, hashtag things you didn't learn in history class. Next week we'll be talking about the real Sacagawea, and you'll be learning a little bit more about her, in fact, from my personal blog coming up next. Anyway, that's all for now. See you guys next week. Bye!